in here. We are getting ready to go to a workout, if it wasn't obvious. <laughs> and I am drinking my greens. I've recently been adding a little fizz to it as a trick because I realize it gives the greens flavor and it has the caffeine in it that will wake me up. So I'm also just ice rolling my face. I'm wearing these like two gel patches over my eye. I have not used these in a hot second. But we are going to a boxing class this morning. Sorry if I'm talking super low. I just am like afraid that I'll wake up Jagger upstairs or something. He's still sleeping. So he's not coming with me today. We are soloing our workout. I think we've talked about this a little bit or I've mentioned it briefly on an Instagram post how we've been on opposite schedules in the month of February. Basically, around the time I'm waking up, for work is around the time that he is heading out for work. <clears throat> oh, I decided to do a little vlog this weekend because we are celebrating Jair's birthday, so we've got some fun stuff planned for today. And then tomorrow is probably going to be more of like a chill day. So yeah, we've got a really fun day planned today. I rent out some electric bikes for us to ride over in Huntington Beach. There's a particular bike he's been wanting to use or try for a while. It's called the Super 73. A little too intimidating for me if you ask me. He's probably going a lot faster than I will. I'm scaredy cat. It's fine. It's his birthday. It's what he wanted to do. So yeah, I thought I would take you guys along with us. So yeah, we're going to head out. I'll take you guys with me on that. And then we'll come back and do all the get ready stuff. I'm actually going to see if I can try to squeeze in getting my nails done. In between, you know, me showering and getting dressed. And us going to actually ride the bike, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, let's go. was such a good workout i don't think i can recall the last time i went that hard in a boxing class i am like i looked at my stats on my watch after because like believe it or not even though i'm wearing those wraps i usually just will wrap i'll wrap over the watch and i mean i don't find it uncomfortable but it could be that i just have really small wrists so i don't know i think the highest i've ever the highest amount of calories I've ever burned for a class in boxing was like 300, maybe high 300s, and I actually hit a new like level. I would say I hit I think 450 total calories is 414. I don't know. I don't. I don't really look at the active calories. Like if you can tell, there's two sections. I'm sorry about the glare, and then there's down here. I like. If I just looked at the active calories, I would probably like beat myself up all the time for not burning the amount I would like to burn. So, um, yeah, great workout. If you guys have never been to Box House, I highly, highly recommend. This is probably one of the only studios that me and Jagger both go to. He's not a big fan of like Pilates and yoga and all that stuff. Mm, I don't know. It's like when I got here, I just had all this energy. Don't really know where it came from. <sighs> it's probably just because I got to actually somewhat sleep in today. So this class was at 8 today. Um, and we're running a little bit late, but now we're gonna head home, uh, and we're gonna get ready for the day. Your wash day, so I don't know if you guys noticed when I was, like, getting dressed for this class today. I put in this, like, oil in my hair. It's actually my first time trying it. It's by that brand, Gisso, Gisso. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, to be honest. It's spelled G-I-S-O-U, so it's supposed to help with your hair 
um, health and it gives it like shine natural shine helps with dead ends and all that stuff so apparently the way that you target that though is by putting it in your roots so it doesn't go on the actual end but I use a hair mask that I like once a week which I'll be using today today's hair wash day and that one actually helps with the shine and also the the actual dead ends that you have so I'm gonna be washing my hair today so I figured I uh, why not just wait to wash it today instead of last night and if I'm gonna be sweating from this class then you really like literally you can't even see the oil but it's supposed to sit in for at least an hour or so or just for a while before you just wash it out so usually I don't want to literally put it on right before I shower because then I have to wait to shower so I figured if I'm gonna be doing this before it probably was smarter to just apply it now and that way it's already been sitting for a while beforehand like I told you guys earlier, we're going to be going out for Jagger's birthday, which I'm really excited for. I'm going to go home and see if he's even awake. We're probably going to make, what do we want to have? Protein smoothie? Some fruit? So, let's go home. Let's shower because I'm so sweaty. And get the steak on. OOTD. Um, I'm wearing my Amazon skirt leggings that are still going really strong. I'm pretty sure I showed these to you on Instagram, but they have these pockets. So it's like seriously, like kind of a really decent quality skirt. My only bone to pick with it, I would say, is they're just a little high rise. <laughs> so ideally, I'd love that to go a little further down. My very skinny calves. I gotta work those out. Um, but I think it still looks decent. I'm bundled up because we're going to be riding bikes. And even though it's not super cold out here right now, um, I probably will get cold with the breeze. No, most certainly will. So I'm wearing this white turtleneck. This is actually from, oh, it's not even up all the way. Okay. This is from The Loft. It's kind of old. And then I got this from Cotton On a few years ago. This is the Beanie from Kristen Made. A few Valentine's Day ago, Jagger bought me this. And then um, <clears throat> these sneakers I've shown a lot on the gram too, and they're just the ones I'll typically run or work out with, but they're really cute to like just wear for comfort, and I find them to be extremely comfortable in general. So yeah, there's the OTD. We're getting ready to head out. I, I never finish my protein coffee, so I'm literally going to chug this down and we're going to head out. I hate to break it to you, but he's not allowed in the vlog because my little ornament comes first. <laughs> we are headed out. I'm with the birthday boy. The birthday boy. This guy makes fun of me all the time. Says I'm a grandma for being 28, but now he's 28, so does that make you a grandpa? I'm actually 27. <gasps> so I'm not a grandpa yet. You're still old. <sighs> Well, if it wasn't already obvious, we're going to be vlogging this experience. I And I'm hecka scared. I'm low-key kind of scared about riding this bike. You're literally just getting a normal bike. So I'm getting a bike called <laughs> Super 73. Just calling me out. And she's getting like a normal, just normal bike. Just happens to have normal, a battery on it. Just normal has the battery. I just don't care to be riding a, a wannabe motorcycle. It might as well be a motorcycle, right? No. Does it go that fast? No. Oh. It, at max, I think it goes like 25, 28 miles per hour. I don't like I, I don't know if that's fast or not. <laughs> like I, Hunter can almost run that fast. So 
Hunter runs fast. I would say he's like 20 miles per hour. That Hunter dude's like really quick. Fast. Yeah. So, okay. So, regardless, that still sounds scary to me. I don't think I want to be driving something that can go that fast. Really hope that like it will be just like mostly on the beach where there's like maybe not a lot of people. Oh my gosh, are we gonna be riding these in the middle of the road? Like on just a regular street? Uh, it depends on what kind of bike you get. I could literally take mine like on the beach and then yours depends on what you get. No, I don't want to. I don't want to be like in traffic and I don't want to be, oh my gosh, I just got really anxious. Here's, right. here's the thing, when it comes to going for my birthday, we're stuck doing a lot of like girly things and I can understand how that can be daunting for you. Cause anytime we go out for his birthday every year, it's something like super out of my comfort zone. Like you really make me, like if, please don't ever ask me to go skydiving with you. But snowboarding, like when I went, I was like, oh, I was so mad. Yes, okay, fine. But I you was- You have fun at my birthday, dude. You're welcome. <laughs> I, was, I was literally so cranky. Like I'm pretty sure the moment I put on those skis, I was like, this is so stupid. They just like, they don't even work. You can't even walk in them. And then like, I killed it. Like I was such a good skier. It, to be fair. Skiing is easier than That's fine. Bike. I don't care. I don't care that it's easy. Give me easy. That's why I'm getting the basic electric bike today. And then guess what? We've gone out with regular bikes too. And I've, I've crashed and fallen. <laughs> Just a regular old bike out on the street. I'm pretty sure we were on Harbor too when I fell. Is that like our 10 mile bike ride? Yeah, that was an intentional. Anyways, okay. He's turning 27. That's what we're going to do. <clears throat> and then he decided on ramen after all. So that's what we're gonna eat. And who knows, maybe I will have fun. We'll see. Fat bag. Fat bag.
we're back. That was a solid 10 out of 10. Yeah. I wish I would have worn gloves. Yeah, it was cold. Man. I was just worried about wearing too much and then looking so extra because like, there is legit some people in like winter gear, but. It was probably like around like. It was so it was crisp. Like 60 degrees crisp. around the, the beach. We went to Huntington. And so breezy and not even breezy, Sweet windy. Mom. It was just straight up windy. Oh, the wait. place was called Fat Bike Rental. Fat Bike. And yeah. it was, I think your bike was like $60 and mine was For like two hours. They charge you wait. based on the hour. Yours was 40. Mine was 40, so yours was 60. Yeah. It was like $100 for both of us to rent it for two hours. It was very fun. Was now really I want fun. the bike. Um, no, dude, the bike he like wants, and technically you didn't even get to ride the one you actually wanted because the one you actually wanted was, was what? What did he So RX? the RX model is what I wanted uh, to ride, but he only had an R model. And I was like, oh, okay. They're essentially the same thing besides like some minor bells and whistles that the RX has that the R doesn't. And I rode the Miami, maybe what, 70 something? Well, they're all 73. Um, um, I don't remember <laughs> what, it was like Miami something, Super 73. Z Miami. There you go. Miami. So mine goes You're gonna mine, like, like, 20... it, like it's mine. Mine went 28 miles per hour, uh, up to? Uh, I think so, around there. Like 28, I think. And then his goes 30. Mine just went like a flat 30. That's it? Yeah. So literally the difference is two extra miles I could have maybe gone past. He's trying to make me feel like I was weak sauce and I'm like, listen, my bike is not like that beneath you. And we didn't have plan to eat a full on meal on this trip, the little two hour trip we made. But we got hungry. We're like, oh, let's just stop somewhere for some like appetizers or like a snack of some sort. Cause he hadn't really eaten much. And I honestly just had that protein drink from this morning and we might still go get ramen later but we're just not hungry right now but also wild and reckless at baskin robbins is so good you guys need to try that it's like better than their rainbow just saying he got rainbow so mine was better well, i would say that's more like a berry sugar not a rainbow just give it a rest not okay. Look at me. Look at me while I'm talking to you. Uh-huh. Hey, look at me. Did you do this? Did you do this? He's so sure dead. And that's why I'm mad at you. <laughs> you ran. What? <laughs> He's like, I can't go further down. boy rate this day out of 10 uh, 72 ramen bowls out of 10 mm, okay so overall better day than snowboarding you'd rate this higher yeah snowboarding the super 73 was like it's amazing I need it I need it okay need and want <laughs> for those who don't know it's a and it's an electric bike but it's like four grand some stuff so the model she had the, the Miami or whatever. It was, I think, roughly around... I think <clears throat> it's almost the same starting thing. Starting price is like $2,100. Um, 
And then the other one that I was writing today is like, <laughs> like, I just like, I could, don't think I could justify it. But then here's my issue. This is where I'm, my toxic trait comes in because I could justify spending that much probably on, on a bag. bag. <laughs> you! <laughs> but here's the thing. The electric bike that I like and I'm totally content with is actually like $1,500. And I think on Black Friday or like whenever they have good sales, it could go down to close to like 1200 where I told them like, I don't need to go three miles per hour, sir. Yeah. I barely went above three. All right. Well, bike riding. we're going to go home now and I'll probably have half of a donut with some milk. And then grandma's going to go to bed. Raw milk. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so I'll pick this vlog back up tomorrow. We're going to end it here for today. Dude, you're crunch. Oh my gosh. but just that's sort of how it just came out when I said it. Anyways, we changed. We're wearing something a little bit cozier because it's very chilly outside. We're just now going to lunch. And Jagger is trying to put our dog away. Kept the same coat on I wore this morning. I don't even know if I showed it. And I'm just wearing this. This is why I need the mirror. Adidas. Same beanie because it was already out and I need to clean my room. Part of Jagger's personality is basically being challenged um, directionally. Okay. So, last time him and I got in an argument about how he should know how to get around like the city and area we live in. Like, this is not even a two mile drive. No, it is two miles, exactly, basically. To a restaurant we're gonna go eat at right now. It's called the Plop Shop. I also used to live here before we started living here again together. Um, but I don't expect him to remember like how to get around from 
three-ish years ago. So, at least six months, I was like, dude, you should at least know how to get to some like common places, like a few. And he still has the hardest time literally getting around here. And I get so frustrated because I was like, okay, you should not need to rely on your GPS. I'll get you there. Let's go. But then if I like, if I like forget and I get distracted, I'm on my phone or I'm just talking about something or I'm looking at something, I'll forget to give him a direction and then he'll just keep going and then he doesn't even ask me like, oh, hey, what's next? Where are we going next? And then I don't even realize we missed the turn or the entrance to whatever location we're heading to. And so today what we did was <laughs> we put it in the GPS and he's like, you just stop. No, no, no. I don't want to get blamed again for not knowing where to go. So it makes you two, happy. It makes me happy. Two miles away, we're using this GPS when we should literally already know how to get to this restaurant. <laughs> never been here, or maybe even never been here. You need to try the sauce, but this is the best sauce ever. It's a spicy cilantro. Every time we come here, we stock up. <laughs> it's not Big the whole thing, but I eat a lot of it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, you thought I was playing. We don't mess around when it comes to sauce. my donuts so I got their Valentine's one and then this was called caramel cookie something I gotta get ready for bed even though it's not eight o'clock yet but I wake up very early so I will see you guys in the next video if this was something you enjoyed let me know in the comments and I can try to do more weekend vlogs not every weekend is this exciting sometimes we just hang out at home and clean and organize our life and sit on that couch and watch something and that to me is a great weekend as well so but if you liked this um go ahead and let me know don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if this is the kind of stuff you like to see i will see you in the next one